Now we're going to discuss continuity at a point in an open interval. First thing we need to do is define continuity. A function is continuous at a point C if the following three conditions are met. The first of all, the function has to be defined. Now this is different from what we were doing before with limits. And this is one of the key differences between continuity and limits, is the function has to be defined. The second is the limit has to exist. And the third is the limit as x approaches c of f of x has to equal the functional value evaluated at c. Now, a function is continuous on an open interval, and that interval is AB, if it's continuous at every point in the interval. If we're able to extend A and B up to positive and negative infinity, then we say it's continuous everywhere, or you can say it's continuous over the reals. Let's look at some causes of discontinuities. Um, clearly, if the function isn't defined at a particular point, then it's not going to be continuous at that point. Usually, you'll have, uh, you have this where you have polynomials, okay, or rationals polynomial 1 over polynomial 2, the zeros of any denominator often can give you this. Um, you can also have the, the function not existing when the left-handed limit and the right-handed limit are different. You'll see jumps. A lot of times this is called a jump discontinuity. And then a third option is when the function doesn't equal the functional value at that point. So for whatever reason, the function is defined to be something else at that point. Let's talk about removable versus non-removable discontinuities. A removable discontinuity is one where you can find another function g so that the limit exists. So for removable, you can find the limit. For non-removable, um, there's nothing you can do to the function to make it um, continuous um, at all. These are usually where you have your jump discontinuities or where it shoots off to positive or negative infinity. Now, let's discuss the continuity of y equals 1 over x. It's continuous everywhere except where x equals 0, because that makes my denominator um, 0. Can't have that. So we can say it's continuous from negative infinity to 0, not including 0, and then from 0 to positive infinity. This is a non-removable discontinuity. Let's look at y sine of x. Now, the limit exists everywhere on the real line, and it is equal to its functional value. So sine of x is continuous over all the real, all the real functions, all the real values of x. Now, let's look at one of our old friends, our rational function here. x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. This is a removable discontinuity. because we're able to rewrite this function as x minus 1, x plus 1, divided by x minus 1. And I can rewrite this, I can write a function h of x equal to x plus 1, which is the line. And the limit as x approaches 1 of this function is 2. But it's still not continuous because the functional value, this function does not exist at x equals 1. Therefore, it cannot be continuous. So this one has a limit, but it is discontinu discontinuous. That was strange. At x equal 1. So how would we write the interval of, of where it's continuous? Um, that would be from negative infinity to 1, union, 
one to infinity. Now this function right here, whenever you have uh, piecewise functions, you're always going to need to check at this point right here. So the limit as a as x approaches zero. Now let's take it from the left. All right, is what? It's just equal to one. Now I'm going to switch colors here. The limit as x approaches zero from the right is x squared plus one. So the limit exists, but what is h evaluated at x equals zero? Well, that is zero plus one or one. So all three conditions are met. So this is continuous over all reals.